Hello everyone, welcome to this Retro Tech special filming. Today's episode, we're trying to just take some footage of some CRTs playing just some games. The one on the left side of the screen is the JVC 36 inch CRT. It's just a uh, consumer CRT. And then we've got the 2005 PVM on the right, the smaller screen that you see there. I'm just attempting to try to film some footage. Uh, I've got them looped together through a component loop. This is a Sony PlayStation 2 Slim that I am using to play this game. This is, um, actually this game is Gran Turismo 4. And the reason I chose this game, it actually has a couple of different video modes in the option menu we're going to go through here. It'll let you do uh, 480i, which it's currently in, and that's looped to the two TVs. It'll also do 480p, and it'll even do up to 1080i. So I wanted to show an example of what happens when you try to use 1080i or 480p in a consumer television as well as in the multi-format 20L5. But just so you can see how crisp the pictures look on the CRT for 480i content, it's just beautiful. So we're going to let this roll and you can just kind of see some action here. Get a little volume on this one. Again, this is a component video loop out the back of the multi-format monitor. So let's go ahead and show you. I want to show you just the mon this, how you can use this to test. This is a great um, test for display what the capabilities of your television are for uh, as far as old content to new content. A PlayStation 2 is great because a PlayStation 2 can actually still go down to 240p with original PlayStation games and the occasional PlayStation two game. Now there is a secret menu option available in a lot of uh, th that has a 480p mode for some other PlayStation 2 games. There's not a normal way to get to that. I'll link to that and probably do an example of that soon. But today we're doing this one. So on this video screen settings, we're going to go here to video output. There's a progressive mode and then there's HDTV 1080i mode. First thing notice, let's do progressive mode. This is going to show, hey, do you really want to do this? Okay. Notice how the TVs turn off and they come back. So on our screen to the right, we have 480p mode selected. So there it's selected and it shows up again over here because the menu is always in 480i for this game. So even if you change that, it won't change your video output to you actually launch the race. Uh, so if you change it to 480p or 1080i, it'll just show that. But that's a great way you can see how 480p doesn't work on the JVC, but it does work on this monitor. 480p is pretty much known to work on this monitor. But I'm going to show 1080i. It doesn't look great, but it does work because it's smushed. It smushes your screen. Now if you had a D24, BVM, then it would be really cool because then you wouldn't have to deal with a smushed screen. Single race. The monitor turns off again and it's switching over into the 1080i mode. 1080i 60. Uh, that just shows what the component source is. It does not work on the JVC television. But it does work on the multi-format monitor. The JVC television kind of loses sync and everything. Let's take a look over here. And you can see the 1080i has come through. So this is just a quick demo showing the capabilities of this monitor. We're going to do some more videotaping later on with uh, this setup. I want to do some things with light guns and just some fun demos, playthroughs, and some discussions of some topics um, and some interesting questions I've gotten over the last month. But thanks again for watching Retro Tech. 
the capabilities of your television or monitor are. This is a good way to test them with just a PlayStation 2, a component cable, and a copy of a very cheap game, Gran Turismo 4. Have a great day.